Authentic healing versus spiritual bypassing. In this video, I'm going to explain what the difference is and what you must not do so then you can heal and ascend further into higher states of consciousness. That being said, let's dive in. Firstly, we're going to dive into the topic of spiritual bypassing, what that is. And I'm going to explain it by using this layout here. You may have come across this before in other of my videos or online somewhere. And this is to help us to understand our consciousness. It can be called a scale of consciousness, a map of consciousness, and it helps us to understand where we are emotional, our emotional states. And so, in these the scales, we have high vibe emotions, low vibe emotions, and there's somewhere in the, the middle. So as you can guess, the more high vibration emotions are the more positive, the more ones we want to be in, those states of consciousness that are peace, joy, love, and at the top is enlightenment. And I'm not to say that I'm enlightened or that it's easy to attain enlightenment. This is purely just how our, our consciousness begins to expand and our emotions as we go through different states of consciousness. And the highest vibrational one is enlightenment. So that is higher vibrational emotions when we're more happy, blissed out, things are happening for us and we are working with the universe. And then down here are the lower vibrational emotions. We all know what those feel like. I don't need, you don't need me to explain to you what those feel like. There's anger, fear, guilt, shame, apathy, these really heavier, denser emotions that so often we experience in life. We, how often do we experience this? Not very, especially as you reach adulthood. And so we often are stuck in these lower vibrational emotions that are connected to our suffering. So these are low vibe. And as we begin to work our way up, this is where we begin to start to experience a change within. So we start to feel acceptance. Maybe there's a bit of courage and forgiveness as we naturally work our way through here. And this part here is exactly where the healing begins to take place. You've hit rock bottom, you don't want to be there, and so you work your way out and you begin to start healing. And this is where neutrality comes in, we feel more neutral and acceptance about things we have gone through, so we're able to then begin to let go, so then we can let in and start receiving the more love, peace, joy, and bliss in our lives. So that is how this is explained. And most people don't want to experience low vibe emotions. They want to experience the high vibe. So what happens is then people begin to spiritually bypass. And what does that mean? A bypass means trying to go around something. And so you don't have to go through it and experience any of the chaos that may come with going actually through that experience. And so this means a lot of spiritual people will tend to bypass because low vibe is associated maybe with ego. It's associated with like negative energy that the person's killing the vibe because they're negative. And so they want to experience high vibes only. And this is where we often see the love and light community coming in because they want to experience positive only. Love and light, don't focus on the negative because you'll manifest it. That's what often you hear, it's like manifest it, you'll manifest it, you'll manifest it, if you're in a low vibe. So this means often people that tend to spiritually bypass will be heavily in their meditation practice. They'll want to connect to their spirit guides, they'll try to connect to ascended masters, deities, they'll try to do all these high vibe things because they want to experience high vibrational emotions only because they are spiritual so they cannot experience anything negative. But I'm here to smash 
this completely. So let's dive in to the nuts and bolts back to my other board. So like I was saying, we have high vibe emotions and low vibe emotions. So when I'm saying vibe, I mean vibration, because <laughs> we are giving off a particular frequency. Each emotion has a certain frequency that it is vibrating at. So you may have heard of the term that somebody says that the vibe is off, the energy is off, you walk into a room and you just feel the tension. That is the vibe, the energy you feel. So this is what I'm referring to when it comes to vibration because everything is giving off a particular frequency, a vibrational frequency. So like I was saying, spiritual bypassing is when we try to not go through any of the low vibration, but kind of just jump straight to the high vibe, completely bypass anything negative and heavy. And this makes people think they're like spiritual. I'm really in a high vibrational consciousness. I read books and this is associated with a spiritual ego. But when it comes to actually healing, we have to feel our emotions to be able to process them and then we can begin to let go. Because what happens is when we are constantly bypassing, we are not giving ourselves permission to feel any low vibrational emotions, permission to let go of old things, we're still holding on to them because we are trying to suppress and ignore it because you're trying to ascend into higher states of consciousness. So this makes you ungrounded in who you are. And we just think ourselves of this love and light being. And maybe at the core that is who we are, but in this human experience, we have density, we have duality, we have separation and all of these human emotions. So when it comes to our emotions and healing, we have to be in that place to process and allow the emotion to be there. We have to feel it in order to heal it. And when we allow the emotion to flow through us and out of us, we've processed it, we begin to work our way up into more acceptance, more neutrality, and we begin to let go of the resentment, the anger, the shame that we are holding onto. And that is how we get into the higher vibrational states. So when it comes to actual healing, we have to see our human emotions as a whole. And most people, and what most people don't realize is that actually causing separation within themselves. And most people think they are the one with the universe, they've ascended duality, transcended duality, but unfortunately what they are doing is creating the separation within themselves because they are choosing to bypass and associating high vibe and low vibe. They creating this distance and separation between their consciousness and the human emotional experience. So they have not transcended duality from within. They are not, unfortunately, being this high vibe person because they are creating that separation within themselves. And that is spiritual bypassing, not true authentic healing. So let's dive into what actually is true authentic healing. So now we're back to this board again for authentic healing. So this is you in the middle and this is you as wholeness, accepting your love, accepting your grief, accepting joy, sadness, shame, all of the human emotions. And we allow them to be there when we feel sad, when we are experiencing grief, when we are going through some kind of hardship in life. We allow it to be there because we see ourselves as one whole human 
we don't see ourselves as separate as this high vibe or low vibe person. We see ourselves as whole. So when it comes to our genuine authentic healing, this is when we accept and allow every emotion to be there. So you accept every human emotions. You accept or just accept emotions. So when we're bypassing, we try to suppress suppress anything I'm going to put negative. So also if we are bypassing, we are seeing our emotions as separate, not wholeness. So separate. So we see on our emotions as separate. And next when it comes to why we bypass is because we believe that will manifest something negative. So we associate negative emotions with bad things, that bad things are gonna happen and are gonna attract. So I'm just gonna put bad things. This pen is awful and running out, but let's carry on. But when it comes to actually authentic healing, as I was showing you in that diagram, that all our emotions are one and they are not separate, all one. Because we begin to accept all of our emotions. And so that means we don't see them as bad, we see them as experiences to learn. Experiences to learn learn. Why isn't that wrong? So instead of trying to ignore our emotions, we feel the emotion and allow it to be there. We don't suppress an emotion and try to ignore it and think of a better thought. Often we are told, bypassing, we're told to think more positively. Po thinking positive positive, positively. <laughs> Often we are told to think positively because it's bad, it's negative. And so then we are still creating that separation, that duality within. And then authentic healing is actually being our truth. We are being truthful and and that's why it is true, authentic healing. So I hope this video has been super helpful for you today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it's my mission to empower people and share my message to as many people as possible. And if you want to go further on spiritual bypassing, check out this video next to true, authentic healing. Much love.